When it comes to controlling your microcontroller project wirelessly, then Bluetooth is nowadays an easy to implement option. It is so easy to do that I even created a Bluetooth Firework Igniter project and a standalone video about the HC05 Bluetooth module in the past. If you don't remember this board, then let me say that it can be bought for just $2 can be connected to your favorite microcontroller through a simple serial RX and TX connection and basically sends over all the text you send to it from your phone to the Arduino and also the other way around. This way you can edit your Arduino code in a way that it reacts to certain code words. And just like that, in around 3 minutes, you successfully created a Bluetooth controlled project. Pretty awesome, I would say. But as time passed, other versions of this Bluetooth board got created. Which leads me to this HM10 board, which is super cheap as well, but unlike its predecessor, is not built around a Bluetooth 2.0 IC, but around the CC2541 IC, which features Bluetooth 4.0 and BLE, aka Bluetooth Low Energy. But what are the practical differences between those two Bluetooth boards? And is an upgrade to Bluetooth 4.0 really worth it? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. One fact about them. JLC PCB manufactures quick turn prototypes and small slash medium quality PCBs in four factories for about 10 years. Upload your Gerber files to order high quality PCBs for low prices. Now for a proper comparison, let's start over with the HC05 board. To use it, we have to connect its 5 volt pin to 5 volts, its ground pin to ground, its TX pin to pin 8, and its RX pin to a 1 kilo ohm slash 2 kilo ohm voltage divider, which connects to pin 9 of the Arduino. This way, we convert the 4.5 volts voltage levels of the Arduino to 3 volt voltage levels, which are compatible with the HC05 board. For the software, we only need a simple sketch that uses pin 8 and 9 as serial communication pins. In order to forward all data we enter through the serial monitor, while also outputting sent data from the module through the serial monitor. So after uploading the codes, it was time for the smartphone part. There I installed the application Serial Bluetooth Terminal, because its interface is very well and intuitive designed, and best of all it functions with Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy devices. That means, after pairing with the HC05 board with the pairing code 1234 and connecting to it through the app, I can send over ASCII text which gets presented through the serial monitor, which obviously also works the other way around. And just like I described it before, this way I can let the microcontroller react to different code words and thus create all sorts of different projects. And if we want to upgrade the HC05 board to the HM10 board, then all we must do is to simply replace it, since the pinout of the two breakout boards is exactly the same. Now of course you will need to pair with the new BLE device called MLT BT05, with the pairing code 123456. But afterwards it works exactly the same way as the old Bluetooth board. So at this point you might be asking yourself, what's the point then? But as soon as I connect a multimeter in series to the 5V power connection of the board, we can see why this technology is called low energy. When the Bluetooth board is not paired with a device, it draws around 9mA. And during sending or receiving data, it draws around 9.1mA. That is not really low power yet if we consider that the old HC05 board draws around 20mA unpaired, around 19mA while sending or receiving and drops down to only 2mA after entering its low power modes after 5 seconds of doing nothing. But what we have not considered yet are all the available AT commands the HM10 offers. There we can find the AT sleep commands which, like the name implies, puts the board into a sleep mode, 
where it only draws around 120 microamps, which is pretty low power and should be able to run off a coin cell for quite a while. Those AT commands might only work when the board is not paired with your phone, but it is still a low power solution for projects that only need to send data occasionally. Such AT commands do also exist for the older HC05 board, which can be used to for example turn one Bluetooth board into a master device and the other into a slave device, so that they can communicate with one another, which also does work with the HM10 boards, but you cannot mix between the two Bluetooth versions. Also keep in mind that you must hold the push button while powering up the HC05 board to enter this AT mode. But I'm getting off topic here. Right now we know that the BLE board can manually enter a sleep mode and can get woken up by either connecting to it or sending a long text to it through the serial monitor. What also seems possible is to activate an auto sleep mode through the AT command set, but after recalling all available ones through AT help, it seems like this command is missing from my board. The reason is probably my board version, which after doing a bit of research seems to be a copy of a copy and thus misses this function, so always be careful what you buy. For the last test I edited the basic communication sketch so that it sends a response to the phone to measure the time difference between sending and receiving. Afterwards I sent data from all around my apartment with different distances and measured the ping for both Bluetooth 2.0 and 4.0 and concluded that both versions worked flawlessly no matter the distance and offered a similar ping. The last mentionable difference for me was that Bluetooth 4.0 does pair a bit faster with the phone than Bluetooth 2.0. But overall when it comes to simple microcontroller data transfer projects, I have to say that when you do not care about power, then the upgrade is really not worth it at first sight. Of course when we dig deeper, then Bluetooth 4.0 offers more security, better error correction and communicates faster, but when it comes to simple Arduino Bluetooth projects, then the difference is pretty insignificant. But feel free to let me know your opinion in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay creative and I will see you next time.